So good morning to you all. We have been learning about no source and the star codes, different medicines, and we have read some of them. Today we are going to know about another important and most important medicines among the no source, which has been created a history with the development of the mankind. More and more comfortable life we are living now. Maybe. And more and more disease prone we are becoming. And uh, it is usually said that prosperity brings the disease. Prosperity brings the disease. The comfort do not allow you to work hard, to do labor, and you start living a sedentary life like a king. So with this, the generation and degenerations, uh, when you have accumulated too much of the wealth, too much of, much of the wealth, these wealth becomes worse, uh, useless for you because they start decomposing and they start consuming yourself also. So let us today take up these medicines with understanding about the development of the tuberculosis and our medicines is tuberculinum today. And for this, I'm going to share my slides now. So this is uh, tuberculinum is a homeopathic medicine. And uh, you must be aware by now that it is a medicine which has been procured from the tubercular patients. Now, the medicine is same and the disease is the same, but it is widely and it is differently named. It, is, has been, it was called white death by Hippocrates. Then uh, it was named as consumptions. Then it was named as Isis. Then uh, uh, glands which is situated in the throat area, the scrofula, and they are tubercular in nature. Then we have the tuberculosis. And presently, it is also known as Koch infections because of the discovery of the bacteria related to it. And uh, in our in ancient Indian uh, culture, it is large. So just uh, I'm going to compare between the two names, earlier ancient name, white death and raj yachma. White death and raj yachma. White death. So when the, and Dr. V. Hippocrates named it white death because during the time of dying with the tuberculosis, the patient's face becomes white, as if there is no blood at all. And Raj Yakshma, this is our Indian sage, he says that with the Raj and with the kingdom, you start having, and you are deprived of the air, Yakshma. So no, no air, and you are going to be deprived of the life. Air has been taken as the life. So this is important thing in both the cases. The, the end stage it becomes white, where you have that. So, so white death, disguised image. White death is the disguised image of the inner darkness of the toxic states of the life. White. White is on the upper area, it is white. You cover yourself with a very beautiful, uh, um, dress, Anna. and patterns are de uh, developing in the society. Why? Only to cover the darkness, only to cover the ugliness of your inside body. So it is the dis white means the disguised, and pattern means the disguised image of your inner dress. If you are pure at inside, you don't need to expose 
and you don't need to cover uh, put a beautiful cloth or the beautiful cosmetic system. Then Raj Yakshima, Raj, you have the you have accumulated so much wealth, you have become the king, and and this kingship is coming from the suppression of the weaker section. You have become king. Why? Because suppressing the poor. So image of the two opposite states represents the tuberculosis patient who burns at the both candles. Who burns at the both candles. What, what we, we wish, we wish the candle could burn at one end. But with this uh, medicine, we come to an understanding that tuberculosis burns with the two ends, at the both ends, everywhere. So in both the hands, you have the, you are the king. You're gaining wealth and consuming wealth. So you gain something, you work, accumulate something, you try to capture something, and at the same time, they are also uh, trying to kill you. Tuberculosis existed since the time of antiquity, ancient time. It has fled humankind throughout known history and human prehistory also. It has surged in great epidemics and then receded, thus behaving uh, like other infectious disease, but with the time scale that changes acceptance and accepted explanations for epidemic cycles. Every time, every time in the civilizations, the epidemic, this tuberculosis appeared as an epidemic disease and they were tried to be overcome and still they are, they have not been eradicated from this part. Why? The only thing is that we have the no we have not changed our mindset. Microbacterium tuberculosis was the late ancient uh, uh, as a recent development that has killed more than any other microbial pathogen. Tuberculosis is known as the colloquial as the white day or historically as consumption. Consumption is consuming. It has been present in the human population since antiquity and in the Egypt, Egyptians mummies also, it is recorded 2400 BCE. So, different signs of the tuberculosis were observed. The, thys, the term thysis and consumption appeared first in the Greek literature. Exact pathology and anatomical descriptions of the disease began appearing after the 17th century in his opera Medica. This is a, another uh, beautiful book by Sylvius Walsh the first to identify actual tubercles as a consistent and characteristic changes in the lungs and other area of the conjunctive patients. What you see in the uh, patients, when you see the x-ray, there are the tubercular are formed in the x-ray and that represents the tuberculosis. New advances then followed the rapid succession. Uh, succession. In 1865, the French military, uh, military doctor Jean Antony, and he demonstrated that consumption is based on the from human to cattle and from cattle to rabbit. So it is not among one the human type beings also, also your uh, domestic animals also. In 19, 1882, Robert Koch discovered a, a staining technique that enabled him to see microbacterium tuberculosis, which is still being accepted today. In the Middle Age, scrofula, it is a disease affecting the cervical lymph nodes, was described as a new clinical form of the TB. In most of the children coming uh, in our clinics, they find, you can see, and the mother will say, there is a glandular growth in the neck. And on the, uh, uh, your examinations, clinical examinations, you will find that it is a tubercular gland. This, uh, uh, illness was known in England and France as the King's Abel, King's Abel. So the same name that we carry in our Indian history, and it was widely believed that persons affected could heal after a royal touch. In 12th century, William uh, of Malmsel reported complimentary treatment during the visit of royal tomb. The king touched or the use of one, and this is that's very much similar with the when a man affects a person, king affected with the disease, when he touches the tomb of the king who had been suffered from the tuberculosis, gets cured. 
So this was some of the myth that we uh, that that is prevalent. So so many reports are there that uh, captain of all these all these men of the death. Because of its epidemic proportions in Europe and uh, North America, determines one in four deaths. Every one person dying represented uh, are still today. It is a tuberculosis. tuberculosis. Then uh, scientific debate were also several were uh, uh, appeared everywhere, and discussion is still going on uh, about the how to remove the tuberculosis. And uh, as we have already understood that this medicines was, this, uh, sorry, tubercular bacillus was identified by the uh, Robert Koch. And uh, this is the process where how he isolated using the methylene blue staining recommended by Paul, Paul Eric. He identified, isolated, and cultivated the bacillum in the animal cells. Finally, he reproduced the disease by in inoculating the bacillus into the laboratory animal. Robert Koch presented this extraordinary results to the Society of Physiology in Berlin on 20, uh, 24th March 1882, determining a milestone in the first uh, fight against tuberculosis. So, now with the decade, so many, now so many tests are there, Montex tuberculin test, Albert Calmet and uh, uh, Cal, uh, Cal, uh, Cal, Cal, BCG, that is called BCG, vaccine, cell main work, streptomycin, other anti-tubercular drugs were developed by this. Which contributed also to elucidate the infectious etiology of TB and his scientific result was awarded the Nobel Prize of Medicine Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1905. In India, the concept of Raj Yakshma has identified since the Vedic period. Around 2400 BC and Yakshma, the word first repeat appeared in the Veda, Rig Veda, and the Athada Veda. The most common, most common synonyms of tubercular are Krodha, anger. Yakshma, that is sickness, and Jor means favor. So anger and fever are the suffering, are the disease suffering. Because it afflicted the king of the stars, Chandrama, thus it is called Raj Yaksma, or also known as the king of the disease. It is the celestial, in the celestial world, this disease has been treated by Aswini. He has he came down to the world of mortal human beings. Here he, it affects human beings after being triggered by the fourfold of the positive thing. So these are the slopes that I have translated for you to understand. The causation for the, the Rig Veda and Atharva Veda said the causation for the tuberculosis is the Krodha. Krodha means the anger. And the uh, out of the anger, <coughs> the heat is generated in your body. And that comes out as the jwar, that is the fever. And it is reflected as the disease. <coughs> So too much dictatorial nature, too much ego is there, and ego develops. Why? Because you have the so many wealth, and so you become angered. <coughs> then again, Sahasrada <coughs> uh, over exertion beyond one capacity. <coughs> you cover, you extend, earn more than enough. That is over exertions. Lust for the money, that is over, over exertions. You are exerting too much of the mind in earning, that is exertion. So, exertion is an important factor. It's over exertion beyond our capacity. Then, suppression of the natural urge. <coughs> so, then, depletion of the tissue element <coughs> and dietary habits are the etiological factors for the Raj Yaksha. So, these are the four causes, four reasons. Overexertions, suppression of the natural urge, depletion of the tissue elements, and uh, dietary habits, the irregular dietary habits, lifestyle is there. <coughs> <coughs> so, 
So what is what is what it happens? The heat gets generated. The CO2 starts becoming uh, losing the retaining capacity, and they become undernourished, and rats dhatu is created. So this is the stage that we have. The royal typical characteristics of rajakma include a feeling of warmth or burning sensation in the soldier and flanks. Burning sensation in hand and feet and raise temperature all over the body. <coughs> now, <coughs> nowadays we are getting the reemergence of the tuberculosis. That is the mark. Drug resistant tuberculosis. Why? It is the uh, it involves the removal of the infected chest cavities in the lungs to reduce the number of bacteria and to increase the exposure of remaining bacteria to antibiotics in the bloodstream. And hopes of eliminating tuberculosis ended in the rise of drug resistant strain in 1980. And then subsequent resurgence of tuberculosis resulted in the declarations of a global health emergency by the World Health Organization in 1993. Now, what are the symptoms? And they are the risk factors. Those people who are suffering from the diabetes, who are suffering from the weak immunity, and they are undernourished or malnourished, and then tobacco use are one of the basic causes uh, for the children. It is not that the only adults uh, have got the tobacco use. Even the babies and children, when they are exposed as a silent, um, uh, 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 as a silent uh, uh, smoker, and they also suffer from this contagious disease. Common symptoms are prolonged cough, chest pain, weakness, fatigue, weight loss, fever, and the night fits. And uh, the body, uh, when become hot, the in infections, when the infections is hot, and there is a proportion of the people uh, and it uh, starts propagating inside your body. Prevention, how you can prevent this disease? By uh, uh, medical uh, attention has to be there for the cough, fever, and unexplained weight loss. Get tested for the tuberculosis infections. You are at increased risk. So, and uh, if you have the HIV or other contact with the people who have TB in your household, or, uh, so if prescribed treatment to prevent to complete the full course. So, ATP, ATP means the, uh, this. Uh, uh, you have to take a full course of the medicine, which comprises of eight to nine months. If you have TB, practice good hygiene when coughing, including avoiding contact with other people and wearing a mask, covering your mouth and no nose with coughing or coughing or sneezing and disposing of your sputum and use tissue properly. A special measure like resp respirator and ventilators are important to reduce the infection to heal the hair over the institute. Diagnosis are rapid diagnosis. These are the diagnostic. I have already tuberculin test, multi-drug resistant test, and tuberculin are usually. Now treatment, these are the following medicines that have been used widely in the isodenoid, prefambin, pyrogenoid, or ethambutol, and Streptomyces, and nowadays these medicines are being used for the TB infection. And multi drug resistance, I have discussed. And then uh, TB is very much related, associated with the HIV. People living with HIV are 16, uh, uncertainly 14 to 18 times more likely to feel ill with the TB disease than without the HIV. TB is the leading cause of death among people with the HIV. HIV and tuber form a lethal combination that each express the other progress. Without proper treatment, 60% of the HIV negative people with TB on average and nearly all TB 
HIV positive, uh, HIV positive people will die with, with, with TB will die. So overall in 2022, only 54% of the, the TB patients known to be living with the HIV were on antiviral therapy. Uh, so now the impact is that the, uh, it is, has become WHO recommends uh, a 12 component approach of local collaborative TB HIV activities, including action for prevention and treatment of infections and disease to reduce the death. Now, homeopathy and treatment tuberculosis, loss of semilia are still to be, uh, are still usually sidetracked. Homeopathy was widely used for the TB uh, in 19th century. The great homeopath, uh, Bonnington's, became interested in following his own successful treatment by which of what was considered to be the hopeless case of the prevalent TB. Then Hempel in 1852 and Huger in 1878 advocated the use of super TB and Burnett reported 54 cases of various type of TB, including 21 cases of TB lymph adenitis, successfully treated with the nosotes, tuberculinum, and the bacillinum. Kent also reported, reported cure of TBLN with tuberculosis. The discovery of the streptomycin and other antibiotics led to the decline in the use of the general measure and homeopathy for the TB. Since tuberculosis has not been known either in its nature or in its proper therapeutic for thousands of years, Robert Koch discovered the germs in 1890 to 90, discover, uh, recommended the treatment of tuberculin, that is the extra, treatment tuberculin is the extract of the bacterial culture. And in selected case therapy, which tuberculin is still applied today. Now, this is the concept what, uh, that uh, draw attention our, of our homeopath to dis, uh, make a resource for the uh, tubercular bacteria, uh, the tuberculin. Uh, as a tuberculin medicine. Then John Henry Clark considered it best to reserve the name tuberculin for the Scotch preparations of Scotch as it is universally termed known by the tuberculin. So what is the difference between the tuberculosis, uh, tuberculin and tuber uh, uh, bacillin? The tuberculosis is a tuberculin is the, the, the uh, pure uh, has been the pus discharges. It is that, that, that we say the crude pus. And bacillinum is the refined, isolated bacteria of the tuberculosis. So, so both the medicines are, we, are, we, have, uh, study, we have to study, and we'll find some differences among both the medicines, be, be, even after, because the, the, even being the, the, both coming from the same sources. Now, the tuberculinum is the distinctive remedy which cannot be missed once it is understood, but one which is difficult to de uh, describe consciously. Tuberculinum patients can be unpredictably in their mood and behavior. Their mood is unpredictable, changeable mood, repulsive mood. One minute they are refined and gentle, and the next three minutes they are very malicious and destructive. The tuberculinum patients who are burns who are the people who burns at the both end. That is, they are cool. And they, when they are cool and mild, they are burning inside. When they are uh, outraged, they are burning outside. So they tend uh, to be the people with uh, much ability and viability in the early stage, but they do not conserve themselves. They dis dissipate themselves. They are full of contradictory feelings. And one of the hands that seek fulfillment and change and other and they are dissatisfied. So uh, what I say, the contradictory symptoms are more important and the same person will find the two stage. So contradictory because it is burning at the both, the can end of the candles. Tuberculum can, cannot be satisfied with anything. They are capricious and they, 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 are, they, they are impulsive also. Capriciousness in tuberculum 
However, the deep in which satisfaction which leads to destructiveness. The tuberculosis child is intensely malicious. He will find out your, uh, what your most prized possession in and he will break it. So they are breaking in nature, they are uh, shouting in nature, every type of the anger reflection is there. Just when you are about to go somewhere, he will throw an uncontrollable tantrum just to spoil your plan. He will do exactly what you have, uh, what you uh, say, exactly do the opposite things that you uh, intend to ask him. He may fear at his mother. Inside, he may wonder why he does these things, but he cannot control himself. Tuberculin children become a constant torment to their patients. They are capable of disturbing the, in, disrupting the entire family. Now, adults, they are also dissatisfied. He does not know what he really wants and one does not know where, where he can put, what may satisfy him. So, in capriciously, he becomes irritable over daily circumstances and he flies to pieces. He swears at his wife and uh, on no account he cannot help himself. Tuberculosis patients are difficult people to live with. They are aggressive and malicious. They are exceptionally selfish. They seek their self gratification, but they never achieve it in their uh, in their dissatisfaction. Tuberculosis patients continually seek change. They go from change one place to another place. So they are traveling, desiring. They are seeking always to get the new thing. Once they make a change, they may, may, uh, they may at first feel contented, but soon they are in with this. So there is no end of the desire for them. They are the people who describe the book, uh, the cosmopolitan. That means the whole world is, is world and they want to travel. So in the repertory also, traveling desire for this is, you may find it to be the prominent medicines. So driven as if they are on the driving, they are on the traveling mode. Then uh, they are intelligent in grasping the power. Anna. So these people who are lean and thick, muscular, uh, like they have rapid metabolism and burn fat, fat quickly. They emaciate quickly. Once the disease has taken hold, they progress rapidly towards the destruction and death. The tuberculin patients, even without necessarily having the disease, carry the feeling of death and destruction deep inside. He feels his life is going to be short, so he has to make it uh, to fulfill all his desires. They are hyperactive. Sexually, tubercular patients are known to be the hyperactive. Tubercular patients have a strong sexual desire. They go from one relationship to the another, but always have their love affairs or tumultuous. So they are adulterous in nature. They may also appeal and conflict in their capriciousness and need to purchase. They are difficult to understand or to flee. The open uh, air, the desire for open air, the clinical experience has shown that tubercular patients heal better in mountain forest and the day climate. If they feel, so there were many uh, home, uh, tubercular home in the hill area where there are the Pure oxygen are observed. Some region they are particularly ameliorated for being in the pine forest. Conversely, they do not feel well at the sea shore. I gen, gen, in general, they are aggravated by cold wet weather and ameliorated by warm dry climate. At the sea shore, they are not okay, but at the forest and the pine forest, they are very much okay. Tuberculosis patients have a desire, uh, patients perspire heavily, especially at the night. This is a profuse perspiration all over the body, drenching the bed cloths. They may have to get up during the night to change their night cloth. This is not a particularly offensive perspiration and it may not be accompanied by the fever. Now the uh, cats and dogs, this is one of the characters uh, characteristics for the tubercular patients uh, that they have fear of the cats and the dogs. The fear of cats alone may often lead you to tuberculinum in difficult cases. Sometimes this is not described as a fear, as a fear, but rather a disgust. 
They say they hate cats. They cannot stand to touch cats. They may even have allergy to the to fur of the cats or the dogs. They are destructive type of the persons. Uh, manifested uh, 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 destructive. We give the toy to the children and uh, within few hours you find them it is torn. It has been observed uh, in cured cases if they see a sharp knife they imagine, um, uh, imagine the noise, uh, noise it uh, can make it plunk into someone and crunching the bone and the tissue. All the tuberculinum uh, should not, never be prescribed routinely. It never is often indicated in patients with a family history of the tuberculosis. One such a history, history is un uncovered in the case. It is always worthwhile to in inquire about the other keynote fear of cats, desire for pox, desire for cats, heavy perspiration, frequent cold, maliciousness, desire for changes of life. If the confirmatory the pictures is present, uh, you can prescribe the tuberculosis. Now let us see some of the mental characteristics of this medicine. Longing, romantic, loving, lo longing, lo romantic, loving, never finding inner containment, not satisfied, unfulfilled, unbearable sense of being unfulfilled. Mental need for the change. A stimulating experience, frequent change, job, house, partner, place, interior of the house, car, uh, fight uh, a constant battle against the boredom. Then uh, they had intense desire to take me life anywhere. Anna? So this is a take me anywhere. We, I, they want to go anywhere. So this desire to travel is there. I want to try everything. Life is short, so why restrain myself? This is the idea, this is the feeling, life is short, so I too must do everything. Their impulse to run, sudden this is your, they always want walking, do walking, they are not comfortable, running they are comfortable. So this, they are malicious, I told you, destructive patients, especially who need to change and frustrate a destructive pantalism. Then uh, they are compulsive, ritualistic, and they become obsessive o OCD patients. So this is the compulsions. They're extremely irritable, and uh, especially on morning or waking on. These patients are shrieking, shouting during the sleep, especially before the main case. Fear of the dogs, especially of the cats, as I have already told you. Then optimistic, they are hopeful that things will go better and they never um, have the idea of going back. A precautious child, the child become adult too early. Anna? So this, they are called the precautious child, the mind whose mind uh, becomes more active. These are type of the children uh, requires the people to Then uh, the, there are the, some physical general before a storms and aggravation. They can forecast that now the storm is coming. Now the thunderstorm is coming. They can uh, be the people like that. Then uh, cold, damp weather aggravates. They do not cannot tolerate the cold, damp weather. And they are see, see so. Either they get aggravated or they feel uh, ameliorated better at that. Then they are open in the open air. A cold air, a cold air, closed room aggravate like a drive, like to drive in a car with the window open. All ameliorated dry warm weather, they are better by the or warm weather. The ravenous hunger at night, driving out of the bed. During the night, feel they become more hungry and they come out of the bed. Then profuse perspiration at night from slight adjustments. Tendency to take cold, marked dispositions to respiratory elements. These are the important general features for that medicine. Crops are of a small one, boils one after the another. They are coming at one part of the body, then at the other, small, small boils which become yellowish and burst out. Then grinding of the teeth during the night, during the sleep, is another important feature for this. Changes, constantly changing symptoms. 
है ना वन सिम्टम्स फॉलोड बाय द अनदर सिम्टम इंडिकेटेड डैमेज इफेक्ट्स व्हेन द इंडिकेटेड डैमेज इफेक्ट्स यू कैन ऑब्स्क्योर चेंजेबल इंडिकेटर्स दीज आर द नोट बाय द ट्यूबरक्लोसिस क्रोनिक रेस्पिरेटरी और एलर्जी अफेक्टेड इन द फैमिली और इन द सराउंडिंग्स नो देयर आर सम पर्टिकुलर सिम्टम्स आल्सो periodic headache weekly coming every week or every fortnight bright redness of the lips as if blood would burst through the uh, out it brown finger tips over face and especially easily tanned skin are easily tanned there are some dark spots you can find headache as of an iron band around the head dark hair along the spines in children and rolling of head to get to sleep and striking head against the bed in the children now now this uh, organ of the body are affected usually if you, you can see the more symptoms of the lung area the mind head especially in the occipital region glands larynx blood and right sided medicinality fever to numb patients come modalities are they are worse in the closed room motion at beginning of the motion exertions whether damp cold changing draft awaking night noise mental excitements thinking of it pressure of wrist band before a storm music and standing and they are better by cool wind uh, cool wind open air walking fast continued motion and uh, uh, the uh, activity desire are important generalities open air desire important emulates better and whether wind riding in a riding in a carriage they feel better and they have got a strong aversion for the meat acid cheese coffee smell of eggs milk milk cold pineapple and wines they desire delicacies smoked meats alcohol bacon fat fat ham milk milk cold for refreshing things salty things sweets bananas cold drinks cold food fat plus salt and fat plus sweets cream ice cream meat potato salami uh, salty food sweets and then warm food and they are worse by the coffee the smell of the coffee and the hot food so now the conclusion we can say that desire for change romantic longing what longing violent need for change is frustrated this is the nucleus of this tuberculosis you have to keep in mind every time constantly changing symptoms recurrent respiratory troubles desire for open air and aggravations in the closed room aggravations in the cold damp weather cramp craving for smoked meats sweets and cold milk and easily perspire at the night so in the past tuberculosis has been called the consumption because it seems to consume people from within and long relentless waste as we all are well aware with the dangerous disease captain of all the men a uh, man's death tuberculosis there is no need to explain what happened in it but worth it to note what is a homeopath can offer to such a kind of person who have suffered from the tb the cure for the bad politics as the, is the same as the cure for the tuberculosis in this living it is living in the open this is a good quotation that you can understand from utsworth wilson so thank you so what is the life life is a song sing it life is a game play it life is a challenge meet it life is a dream realize it life is a sacrifice offer it life is a love enjoy it so to enjoy life let's come together to fight against such a battle so thank you thank you for listening me uh, for this uh, Uh, small medicines, not a small, the big medicines, which was rare and now it has become the polyclase, or usually indicated and regularly indicated in your clinic. So with this, I stop the sharing, and we can. Uh,
those gestation stuff. So what uh, I want to remind you, whenever you study a no source, it is, uh, you must go to the disease from which this uh, medicine is related, like the tuberculosis, uh, tuberculosis from the tuberculosis, carcinosis from the cancer. So you must have the better because when you combine the both of the two, both of them together, you can get a better, wider picture of the clinical importance as well as the reality that may be there. So this is the way we understand, try to learn. Uh, no source and both the sarcos. For the sarcos also, we have to feel that we must uh, go, what is the, like putretinum, it is from the putretic gland. What is the function of the putretic gland? What, uh, uh, what way the putretic glands ca can become the disease? So uh, if you know this phenomena, you can apply it as a symptom and you can find in your proving also that these, these are um, the minimum to each other. So with this today, I conclude my session and hope we have, uh, you must have some questions you can ask me anytime. So thank you. Thank you very much.